Haven't worked with Tusa in a while. Let's see where he's at. Do you want to fly at all? <laughs> Maybe not. Oh. Something better? That is super bright. I thought the lighting was fine. You want to turn it off? Yeah. Well, I guess it's okay. Oh yeah, maybe if I turn that way it's better. Okay, ready this? Do you remember this? Ready this? <laughs> <laughs> People say my vocabulary is not very large. Where's your good boy? Good boy, Toos. See if I have any variety in here. I feel like I only have pine nuts. Ooh, yeah, I got some good stuff. Okay. I want you guys to pay attention to Tusa's head feathers here, right there. They've streamlined and they've gone down, and that's told me that he's a little less comfortable with what I'm doing. And so it's really important to be aware of that type of body language so that you can feel what your bird is feeling and then adjust your training methods accordingly. So quick. Good job. Good. Good boy. Gonna do a good one this time. Did you see it? Just, just, it's okay, it's okay. Good job. So as you could see there, I pushed too far to where he was so uncomfortable he wouldn't stop nibbling at my sweater and so I had to go back a step and make sure that I rewarded for calm before it got to that. Here I pushed too far, you can really see his body language, he's super uncomfortable. I'm using a lot of verbal coaxing and just talking to him to kind of get that those head feathers to go back up and get a more content, calm body language. Here I'm using my voice to get him to calm down and show me those good puffy feathers and then as soon as I see those content feathers come up on his head, I'm rewarding. Okay. And I want him to know that it's not going to be the same thing each time, so I'm not going to ask him to do anything he's uncomfortable with. Also, I'm trying to get a feel for which angle he's most comfortable going with on his back because there's sometimes birds don't like their tails being touched or coming into contact with something and so oftentimes being close to the body doesn't work for them and I'm starting to feel like maybe being so close to my body isn't working for Tusa either so I'm trying to feel out the circumstance and see what can work for him to make the most amount of progress. Now Tusa is more Dave's bird, so of course he really enjoys flight training. So by asking him if he wants to fly to me, I'm basically asking him, hey, do you want to keep interacting with me? Do you want to continue with this training? And even though there is a level of discomfort for it, you can see I just went for it there. Um, there is a level of discomfort with it, but it's not so extreme that he doesn't want to interact with me or that he's getting mad with me. I just kind of went for it. Just had this feeling, went for it. He's kind of okay with it. Keyword kind of. So that is kind of my reassurance and every time he flies to me, tells me that he's okay working on this. It's definitely pushing his comfort level, but he's wanting to continue with it, which tells me that I have enough money in his piggy bank to work on something like this. Good boy, Tusa, good boy. Holy crap, did you see that? No. I just like went for it a second time and he just, he was super calm during it. Normally I can kind of feel more tension. Yeah. And he was like not tense. It was awesome, but now I'm too excited. So now I'm kind of tense. That was so good. Can you do it again? Good! Did you see? 
So the reason I'm excited about this is when he freaks out, I cradle his wings, I tuck him down, and he immediately lets go of me. That's what I was so excited about. Did you see like he let go and yeah. was chill? Oh my goodness, you're so good. I don't know what happened. I just had this feeling of like, maybe I just need to go for it instead of doing the inch by inch because it was almost making it more tense, the inch by inch. Okay, if we can do this last one, I'm gonna give him a walnut. You ready? Do you wanna do a flight actually first? Let's do a flight. Is your wave still horrible? Oh, it's good! Yeah. That's the best wave you've ever seen him do. It's better than it has been. Good boy. Oops. Good boy, Tusa! Holy crap, holy! That's what you get! He doesn't flail his wings at all. He grabs on very lightly, immediately lets go, and relaxes. Holy camoli, guys. Yo, 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 yeah, I for real did. I don't know if he'll do it again. I should stop. But I really want to keep going because I'm so excited. Let's keep doing it. Okay, only because you said. Do you think I could get away with doing more? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm trying to warm up this deco because it's supposed to change colors. I think he'd want to do it if it was for a really big one. Okay, Capri, you want to see? And if dad's right, I'm gonna hate myself today, but let's see. I'll just do an easy one at first. Good boy. Good boy. Um, I'm gonna watch you in the video. No, I want you to see it, man. Good boy, Tusa! Okay, I swear I'm done. I promise I'm done. I think we should do it again. I know. I want to do it again and again and again and again and again. We'll do it tomorrow. For now, I'll just let him do some flying. Going on the back is not something that you want to work on the very first time without having any sort of established relationship with your bird. Unless it's something where your bird just goes on its back naturally, it's a baby, maybe it plays on its back, or something where it's choosing to do it just on its own accord and you're not having to physically manipulate it but otherwise unless it's not done in play and you have to really work at it like i've had to with tusa it shouldn't be the first trick you go after hey, good job good job all right i'm gonna go give him dinner i think i'm done bunny boo so I had thought of working with Tusa right now. I don't know if it's gonna go super great or not. When I put on my training pouch, he got really excited. So I'm hoping that it will go well. Um, the thing is, is that I just fed him breakfast because I did this Tasty Tuesday for Patreon. And he taste tested the recipe and he ate like the whole thing. So he's not super motivated as far as food, though he didn't have any treats today but he's a little bit more mellow in demeanor, so I'm hoping that that kind of offsets it and makes it so that he's more willing to work on going on his back. So I'm gonna see if he wants to work. Make sure you guys can see okay. Good job. Do you wanna do some stuff today? Might be a better angle. Hey, Vane. <laughs> Oh, what a good boy, Tusa. What a good boy. He took both on that, wasn't supposed to, but.
so I normally have my birds out on these uh, stands if I'm wanting to train with them or if I'm wanting to, um, if they've just had breakfast. Tusa, it's okay, buddy. You know it's not that awesome. Okay. Good boy. Okay, ready? Good boy. Good boy, Tusa. Good boy. Okay, and since he's not uber motivated, I'm gonna give him two nuts for that, which is a jackpot, and stop. Just because I was able to hold him for a really long time on his back. He's not super motivated for the treats, which I'm having to use jackpot rewards because we are having these breakthrough moments, and I'm just gonna leave it good. <laughs> so I'll ask him to do one more easy thing. I'll do that, and then I'll ask him to um, step up as well so he doesn't think every time he steps up he's gonna have to go on his back. So that's where I'm going to end it.